Hey there guys, um, it's Master DK. Um, I just felt like I needed to make this video because um, I feel like it's a good outlet, you know, for my um, my emotions right now because I don't know how else to... <sighs> Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Just, there was a motorcycle going. Um, it's it's a really difficult situation and I'm, I'm not sure how I should be um, feeling right now, but I just feel really weird. Um, I just got news from my parents that that um, my uh, granddad's wife, um, my granddad on my dad's side, um, his wife is in the hospital right now, dying. And it's just, well, first of all, this wasn't someone that, you know, I've just, you know, been hearing about and uh, only met a couple of times. Like, I knew her pretty well uh, since, I was, since I was a little kid, in fact. I think I first met her when I was five years old. And uh, it's just really difficult, you know, to process. So yeah, I, I knew her a long time, and I, I do feel really terrible about it, because this isn't, you know, and uh, usually I would see her around uh, holidays, um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and uh, I remember she would just be always so, so happy to see me and my brother, and, and just, you know, she would have just just by the way she looked and talked and everything, you could tell that she was genuinely happy to see us. And, um, you know, just to see someone with that, you know, amount of joy in their, in their hearts, just, just to hear that they're dying. It's just, it's just really difficult to, you know, deal with. <clears throat> and, um, like it's it's a it's um one thing it's you know it's hard enough when you hear about you know someone in your life that uh one day just dies but to hear that you know they're not dead yet but they're going to die it's just you know it just you know kind of prolongs your you know grieving and you know it's it's a whole different experience and one that's really difficult to, you know, deal with because, like, um, it's not something I get, I, um, have to deal with very often. Like, I, I, I always hear news of, you know, someone that I care about, you know, is, is, you know, passed away, but when it's like this, it's, it's really hard to, you know, wrap my brain around and, uh, we'll just cope with and, uh. I feel like I should be a lot more emotional. I feel like I should be in tears right now, but I'm just not for some reason. And I, I mean, I feel sad. I feel really, really bad, but it's like I'm not able to express it correctly. And it just makes me feel weird. And it just makes me feel like, I don't know. It just, it just gives me some, it just gives me a feeling that, you know, I should be caring more about this. I should be feeling more. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's, it is difficult. And, uh, especially for my family. I'm, I'm sure there's, I'm sure my granddad is going to be hurting a lot. Um, you know, I think, I think it's like a week's time or something like that. So it's not, you know, we don't have, like, much time until she passes, and it's just, it's just really sad, and, uh, just, um, keep her in your thoughts, keep my family in your thoughts, and, uh, you know, I really hope that we can, you know, um, cope with this, um, in a better way, because right now it's just, you know, we just feel really, really awful, and uh, and uh, I just felt like sharing this with you guys, and uh, just you know finding an outlet, like I said. Um,
thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm sorry if this seems like a view ploy. It's really not. I just, I feel like I needed to share this with, with people. And uh, just to remind you guys, you know, cherish those last moments with uh, the people you love, the people in your lives that you deeply care about because one day you might get the news that your time's running up or your time is completely up. And, uh, you know, it's unavoidable. You know, eventually it's going to happen and it's going to be hard to deal with. But, you know, if you cherish those moments with them, you know, it'll be worth it in the end. So, thank you guys.